I'm Delilah with Art by Delilah and I have a passion for painting. Today I'm showing you my large stretcher frame that I've built. It's quite heavy so it's um, eight foot long, four foot high. I'm leaning here against it an easel with the painting behind it. Um, I've got some canvas pliers to, to stretch canvas. I've got yards and yards of canvas here that has to be stretched over this. So what you're going to need is very heavy pliers to pull the canvas with. And because my hands are not real strong, I've got small hands, I use an electric staple gun. So I pull it around the edge and then staple it. I'll start in the middle and then on both sides and then go on down and work my way across and do the ends. And it's going to be wrapped around gallery wrap, so it's not going to necessarily be framed. And then once I get it stretched very tightly, I will then gesso it with um, some gesso. It's going to take more than this, but this is a, a nice little can to start with. And this will give it the first coat because, like I said, we've got almost a wall here. It's four foot wide and um, going to be eight foot long. I've been working my way around the, the, the canvas, stretching it, um, going, putting uh, three staples on one side, moving to the very opposite side, doing three, and then going to the ends and doing three. It's a very large canvas, and so it's taking a lot of pulling and stretching. Oh, look at this. We've got Alvis here. Oh, that's Kayak. Kayak is here helping us um, in the studio, replacing Alvis to make sure that everything's done right. As you can see, I've got quite a bit of um, extra canvas on the edges. I've done a gallery wrap here, means I've gone, I've not just stapled on the sides, I've stapled on the back so that this can be hung without any kind of a frame. And because I've got extra canvas here, because I'm going to take this off the stretcher frame in about four weeks, roll it, ship it back to Michigan, and then restretch it again. So I want to make sure I've got lots of extra canvas. It'll be trimmed down in the final, before the final work is hung. Now I've got these corners that need to be done, and I'll show you how I'm going to do the corners. So I've got a nice gallery wrap finish on the sides. All right, let's see what we can do with this corner. I take it, and I put a staple right near the end. There's the board. I'm going to put a staple right there. And then this side here, where you can see it coming around, I'm going to push push that in. Like you're making a little, like you're making a bed. You kind of fold that part right in, make a nice little V of it. And then you Bring it down, bring that over so it's nice and square, see? And then while holding it, you staple and staple. And then you've got a very nice corner here. Can you see that? I don't know if I can get down here to show it to you. 
I'm clear down the floor working because this is so large. Now, see the, see how nice the corner is there? And you'll paint around that. Okay. Well, I finally got it stretched. Now it's going to be time to put the gesso on. So I've got my brushes. It's going to take about four coats of gesso. So I'm going to start tonight. And you'll see me back in about a week. And we'll get started on this painting.